uh, thermal dilution is, is again this the same thing the tube thing that i discussed where you uh, took a point a and you injected your dye and all that thing uh, you'll be able to understand that much more easily here in thermal dilution of course and and the second more important thing is this is the more preferred uh, way to measure cardiac output in clinical practice uh, uh, you 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 th these are specialized catheters catheters are long flexible rubbery flexible tubes that we use in all sorts of procedures uh, in the clinical practice uh, this particular <clears throat> catheter is specialized in the sense that it has a side pocket so it's it has a tip uh, and so that's one one feature of this tube and right at the tip uh, of this tube you have a thermistor you have a a temperature uh, evaluating or temperature sensing uh, sensor when you uh, take you take this catheter you insert it through a peripheral vessel and you keep on pushing it till it literally ends up inside the heart in the right side of the heart okay now when it's there from the side port that's that's the pocket that i mentioned just before the tip you have a side side pocket or side opening from the side port you introduce from outside you introduce ice cold water ice cold saline into the right heart now that that uh, that 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 very cold water will obviously decrease the temperature of the blood that it has been released in now this blood when it goes through uh, the the right ab valve into the pulmonary artery that is where your the tip of the thermistor is okay so you have wedged your uh, your catheter in a way that the tip has gone through the valve into the pulmonary artery so the ice cold saline gets released proximally inside the ventricle and the thermistor lies waiting inside the pulmonary artery you see what's going on you decrease the temperature of blood inside the ventricle so that now this is cold blood and when it goes through the valve and it's it goes through the pulmonary artery it is picked up by the the, the cold blood is picked up by the temperature measuring sensor at the tip of this catheter okay and the amount of that cold blood per minute is calculated and voila that is cardiac output